We have been working on two very important uh, projects which I think will provide a lot of interesting lessons for China. One is a project in the Philippines that has been working with urban communities through a mechanism that you can describe as corporate social responsibility. Uh, urban poor communities which are organized, they have received assistance through ADB, as an ADB grant, and they have been working with private sector. This private sector assistance has been mobilized and motivated through the help of an NGO, an NGO which is kind of an umbrella NGO that uh, channels uh, corporate social responsibility contributions of private companies in the Philippines. This uh, group is called the Philippine Business for Social Progress, which is specialized in this kind of intermediary role bringing together private sector contributions to communities. The ADB has provided a grant which was utilized in different means. It was used for infrastructure improvement of community facilities, that is drainage, uh, streets, uh, water supply and uh, sanitation facilities, public ones, and uh, some of the resources have been used as revolving funds for small-scale credit to improve homes and to establish small businesses. And jointly with the communities, um, measures have been undertaken to develop preparedness for disaster management, because some of these communities are close to rivers or in areas where flooding could occur. So disaster preparedness has always been an issue of poor communities in the Philippines. Now this model has worked very successfully without giving figures. Now I want to just state that um, you get a lot of value for little money from such kind of activities which are controlled by communities where communities actually um, are able to chip in their own uh, experience, their own resources at times like land or uh, sweat labor and they contribute uh, immensely to this. The private sector has also contributed very big through donations of materials, through labor and uh, through expertise. Altogether, we have been able to uh, bring in so many additional resources over and above the ADB resources that the original budget of uh, an amount doesn't matter, but practically the, the budget was doubled by the uh, corporate social responsibility contributions. And I think that is a immense uh, success story that could be replicated in the context of China. I think in China we have uh, urban villages which are part uh, of the uh, location of where uh, urban poor can be found and we find also uh, non-government organizations, some of them already trying to, to work with corporate social responsibility. So that model could be uh, explored for an application in China. The, the, at the core of this model is that community has been planning and preparing the project and has been implementing the project. They administer the funds together with the uh, implementing agency, the NGO, which, which has uh, responsibility with the uh, ADB. So in this way you have a very strong ownership and uh, uh, feeling of uh, belonging by the community and that is uh, one of the key values of such an experience. They have uh, uh, focused on uh, community uh, roads, neighborhood roads, food paths, drainage, then they have focused on uh, connections to water supply, they have established uh, um, wastewater treatment facilities, uh, uh, on site and they have uh, sponsored electricity connections for the uh, houses which are not yet connected. That is the community infrastructure. On the uh, home in, uh, improvement side they provided uh, loans for beneficiaries and for those who wanted to establish small businesses they have provided small scale uh, credit. Now the performance of the uh, 
credit administration is very remarkable also. They have been able to maintain a steady, uh, very high 90 to 96 percent uh, repayment uh, quota, and that is a very, very stable and remarkable achievement. Always it's said, uh, being said that the poor cannot be trusted when it comes to loans and when it comes to money. They will take the money but will not pay back. But here is an example that they are uh, responsible actors, that they are responsive and they have actually maintained their obligations, they have paid back. And uh, we felt that this experience was a, a good indicator for something that the government could replicate in, in other programs. We have tried to replicate this and, and uh, I think uh, this example is outstanding in that regard. Even in a, f in a formal banking sector you do not have a, a 96 percent repayment uh, ratio easily. Yeah, you do not have that. I think there's another very striking and important example in Indonesia which uh, has been working with uh, block grants for community uh, activities. Uh, in Indonesia it is a neighborhood upgrading and shelter sector project which uh, was implemented with an ADB loan uh, which was uh, completed in 2010 and this project has been able with a 70 million uh, dollar loan to reach out to uh, 3.9 million people in uh, s slum improvement that covered basic infrastructure. Again, water supply, public toilets, sanitation facilities, uh, waste management, neighborhood roads and drainage, and food passes. These activities were financed, as I was saying, through block grants. The ADB uh, loan was converted into grant, which was passed on through the municipalities through the two local communities. Local communities were organized, they organized themselves, and they have been able to uh, add their own resources in terms of sweat labor. Sometimes they have to provide a bit of land for, for infrastructure requirements. And uh, the municipality has also provided uh, a cash contribution, about 30% of the overall requirement. So there's a collaboration between central government municipality and the community themselves. And the communities decided about what they were needing, what they wanted to invest in, and how it should be done. Again, here you have an example of a low-cost approach with high benefit and high efficiency. All these works are very cost-efficient. Uh, if a contractor would have built the same uh, works, it would have been double or three times as expensive and probably with, uh, with lesser quality in the end. So that I think that model is a model that also the government of China could adopt if it wanted to invest in poor urban communities. Block grants can be, could be uh, directed at uh, investment in social facilities or in basic infrastructure and could be handled and processed in a similar fashion where uh, the national government and the municipal government and maybe the communities contribute and jointly they ex implement this project. I think it has great potential actually.